Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. This morning I've got an altered box that I'm going to do. This is just a cigar box that I picked up off of eBay a while back ago. I've done a little sanding on it, but really and truly it didn't it didn't help much. These um these letters are still imprinted way too deep. So, I'm going to start off by just giving it a coat of uh, gesso, a white gesso. I've just got a, a softer wide brush this time. And I'm sure it'll take several coats. Now, I rarely explain this, and I probably should. But the reason you add gesso is so that the entire project that you're painting has the same tack to it. It has the same ability to hold other products to it. Okay, and like I always say, I'm sure you've seen people paint just so a thousand times, so I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, I've painted the box white. And then I've got a piece of the Mariposa paper, which is years old, and I don't know where you could find it, but this is what I used. I cut it a quarter of an inch smaller than the measured side that's an eighth inch smaller um, on either side and either end now I'm gonna just distress the edges and I'm gonna do that with my scissors because that's what I've got Just something like that. Now this Mariposa paper is really thick. So if you have a thinner paper, you'll have to be more careful using the scissors. And you don't have to do, to do that at all. Alright, so I'm just going to glue the paper. the edges and then in the center
Okay, and no, I don't spread the glue out and... All that kind of stuff. Okay, now I'm going to use the back edge of my bone folder. Just to make sure it's glued down. If you work fast enough, yes, you can still pull it off and restick it. Alright, now I'm going to do all the sides and I'm not going to do the top. I'll address that in a minute. Did sand it a bit first just to knock any of the rough spots off. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to make you watch me just gluing, but I couldn't be bothered to turn the camera off. Okay, and really and truly the top edge is the most important because of the rolled edge on this box. Alright, so as you can see on the back, I did cut it and allow for that hinged area right there. Now I've got some of the TCW Lot and Fluffy Modeling Paste and I've got the Damask Stencil which is by Prima. This modeling paste is new. I mean it's a new bottle. Huh? I literally just threw the old one away. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to add a little but I'm not going to do the whole thing. As in I'm not going to do the whole panel. I apologize for the closeness. Okay, 
something just like that. Okay, now I'll let that dry before I continue on with the other sides, but I'll do that off camera. Okay, for the next step, I've got this pillar mold, and I searched long and hard for a pillar mold that would be tall enough, and this one really and truly still isn't, but it's going to work, I think. So I'm going to fill up this part and this part for it to be long enough. And I've got this DOS modeling material, which really and truly isn't my favorite. I would much prefer the creative paper clay. Because really and truly... This DOS stuff stinks. And I mean stinks. It, it doesn't seem to warp or crack near as much, but I would trade the warping and cracking for something that doesn't smell as bad as this stuff. It has a very... It has a very weird... I, I'm not even going to sniff it to just describe it to you. It has a very weird kind of... I don't even want to say chemically because it's not chemically. My husband says, is it maybe petroleum or... No, nothing like that. It's just weird. I've never smelt anything like it. <laughs> All right. Like I said, it works just fine, but really and truly, it smells. And besides the fact that it smells, it really doesn't release near as well as the the creative paper clay does. Now, you could let it dry in the mold and probably get better results. It actually dries relatively quickly, which I do like about it. But I'm, I'm, I'm probably really and truly rather sensitive to smells. Like, I don't like, I don't like the Kato clay simply because of the way it smells and I know I'm not alone <laughs> it's 
So as with any of the paper clay, close it up really well. And I'm going to follow my own advice and let this at least set up before I try to turn it out. I have already made a couple of little rosettes that I'm going to put. I'm going to put them in between. Something like that. just to um, make the pillars long enough to be honest because they're too short um, if I was going to design my own pillars which I'm very tempted to do I would make a separate top and a separate bottom and then create several lengths of pillar middles so you could choose to make them longer or shorter or whatever you want to do I mean it really isn't that much that I'm talking about this is going to be the image and if you go from the bottom to the top as you'll see it's like a half an inch so, what do you do? So, I'm going to try to work with it, and we'll see what happens. Now what I've done was I traced the image that I'm going to put in the middle, just so I don't put any texture paste there. Then I'm going to add the stencil. Now this will be kind of tricky because where the box opens is really close to the edge so I'd say this box really isn't my style, but it's like I told my husband last night. It's not so much about it being pink as it is about staying with the Greek theme. Alright, so I'm going to carefully lift it up. And just finish the design and it really doesn't matter 
whether it's a continued design or is to not get it where the box closes. Got it just a bit inside where we traced, which I don't want because that will interfere with the transfer laying down. So I'm just going to take my palette knife and right at back I've got this image that I printed on the water slide decal transfer paper. Um, the inkjet transfer paper. I printed it, then I trimmed it, well, I printed it, then I sprayed it with a spray clear. And let that dry. Uh, I did like three coats of the spray clear. And let that dry, and then I trimmed it out. <clears throat> the spray clear is necessary for the transfer to work. You print it on the water slide decal paper and then you put the spray clear on to seal the image because it's an inkjet transfer. It will just um, smear and disintegrate if you don't put the spray clear on okay <clears throat> so now I will do the water slide decal transfer all I'll do is put this in water for maybe 30 seconds it, it really doesn't take long and then the the entire image will slip loose of this paper backing. It will be kind of tricky to get it inside where I want it to go, but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to go dunk it in water for 30 seconds and then I'll be right back. Now, the water slide detail decal paper does come in a white and a clear. If you use the white, it'll be on a white background, obviously.
Okay, now if you fiddle around with it too much, you can get a tear like I did right there. But I'll find something to cover that up. Alright, so I'm just going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, while that's drying, I'll, I've already coated all of these with a coat of white gesso. The columns, the column tops, and the roses were all made out of uh, mostly paper clay. Um, I believe this one, no, I believe this one and one of the tops was made out of that DOS modeling material, which really stinks. I just don't like it. Um, the rest of these are resin. This one was black resin, but I'm going to put the gray wash on, so hopefully it'll it'll still be all right. So, this is the Americana Neutral Gray, which is by Deco Art. It's a really, a really good color. So I've just got a really worn out scruffy brush, a spray bottle of water, do about five squirts to start out with, and a little bit of the gray paint. Now I want this wash to be really really watery Okay, I just want it to have that kind of a Greek, an antique, ancient Greek. <laughs> hey, just something to bring back the detail on that stencil a bit. still want that background to show through the 3d matte gel for its sticking power remember I'm gonna start with this
this right on the front. Sorry, I'm going to turn it down towards myself for a second. Just hold a little pressure on that for a minute or two. Just to make sure that it sticks down on both sides. Because it can tend to curl up a little bit. Or down, or... <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. My battery died, as per usual. <laughs> so now I'm just going to add this piece to the front. Not sure why I didn't do it when I added the other piece, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to let that set just a minute or two. So bear with me a second. Okay, then last but not least, <laughs> I'm gonna glue on the pillars.
sorry about all that. This 3D matte gel is extremely sticky. So if it dries on your hands, <laughs> it's going to be there a while. Okay, now on these little rosettes, I want there to be quite a bit of the 3D matte gel behind them because they're a different thickness. So I really want them to bump out a little bit. That might be a bit much. Okay, I had already put a thin layer of the um mm -hmm. that DOS stuff I have used DOS in the past and don't remember that smell bothering me quite as bad although I do remember it smelling but like I said I'm pretty sensitive to smells so it may just be me. Well, I mean, obviously it's not just me, but... Okay, sorry, because that 3D matte gel dries so sticky, or sets up so sticky. Okay, this pillar right here in particular, when it dried, I had it kind of kicked over evidently a little bit. So it's either lined up at the bottom or lined up on the edge. So, <gasps> eh. Okay, so there you have it. It's really pretty though.
there's the front. The back, which I really like. The sides that are just plain with that white stenciling. And then I did cover the inside of the lid with just the paper. So there it is. I really hope you all enjoyed. Got a little bit of inspiration. If you would, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll list um, not only the products that I used, but my social media links will be down below. I've got an Etsy shop. I've got uh, an Amazon shop which is an affiliated link so I do get a little tiny tiny bit of cutback from it um, I believe that's it bye for now